Well, because last week was one of the most stressful weeks of my life. It really was uh, from an income on last Monday, I think it was, or it might have been two weeks ago now. The time is literally just going by so fast. I can't believe it's already November 4th. Holy shit. We've been in, how long have we been in Arizona? Yeah, since September. Damn. So, so yeah, so time is flying by. But if, a few weeks ago, I thought that I was going to be net negative every month uh, from an income perspective. And then it turned out this is going to be the best month I've ever had in my entire life times two, which is retarded. But that's just because a few things went very, very well with one of my clients that I have a significant performance-based model. One client that I never talk about, I just get 20% of all revenue. And we had an exceptionally high month. So that that was the reason why we're really, uh, why my income is so high this month. But that's given a little bit of leeway for some cool little side projects and to build a little bit of savings because I've really just been running on volume recently where I don't have that much, I have money coming in, but I'm spending so much spending. Like right now I'm pretty much committed to spending on all expenses. The payroll is getting pretty high, but it's getting super exciting. And I was just relying on the volume of getting paid from people so that I could pay off everyone else. And then <laughs> uh, that's pretty stressful. And it was, it was really making me lose sleep. But now because we've put in the time to build systems, which that's been PJ's rock recently, where he's been building all these things out, organizing everything, because my brain is like a cluster fuck of, I have no clue what the hell is going on, but it works somehow. But that's not how a business runs. And I wouldn't even say I work that well. <laughs> I would love organization. It's just, it's not my strong suit. I can produce really good results because I am pretty good at what I do. But there's a way to do that much better. And that's what you need at scale. And we're really close to that at scale because right now, the limiting factor for me is not finding new clients. It's very easy for me to find a new client. It's very difficult to service those clients. And so now that we have a, we're almost building in like an in-house, like multitude of agencies where we're kind of white label partnering with an editing agency. Cause I have like a, a little bit of a media company and with Yusuf, love you, buddy. Everything's gone well there. And then I'm kind of building out my own thumbnail agency at the same time, because you just have to c keep up with the quantity and then people that are going to be able to manage all of them. And then it's going to be just plug and uh, play creatives that, uh, type of person who has to be trained up and that's a very specialized person. But I know a lot of people who could handle those types of roles. If there was a little plug and play, I would just use everything that I have a few months from now. All it's going to be is, okay, onboard this client. Here's what everything has to do. Here's the full package service. And it's just all going to be this wonderful organization. <laughs> and everything's organized through different org charts, or at least we're trying to get to that point. Which is awesome. I mean, that's it's basically just how every single decent run business in the entire world is operated. But to this point, I've really just been stumbling forward, hitting my face on the floor, and then figuring out how to get back up over and over and over again. So hopefully, this would also free up a lot of time because time is what allows me to focus on projects that increase revenue by 10, 20, 30x. That's what I focused on last year. I pretty much got everything down to where I only had to work four hours a day. And then I spent the other day, other part of the time, just kind of thinking through new opportunities. I already know what the new opportunities are going to be that are, we're going to roll into that are going to help vertically integrate everything and take everything to the next level. But I'll have time to be able to focus on those different projects, which I'm super excited about because that is, has the most amount of leverage that will allow us to scale the most, which is what I really want to do. And that's what's everything's coming along. So it's, it's really just been like a, probably a three or four month process that's all coming along now. And we're just now starting to see the fruits of the labor. I think a month or two from now, everything that I'm talking about today will just be exacerbated and that will be the new normal, which is going to be fucking awesome. Uh, hopefully I, I just want to knock on wood here. PJ, I think you, you think it's coming along. I, I really do. I mean, I genuinely like just because I mean we're we're working every every day, like like multiple shifts a day. There's a whole lot of different product pro projects that are being done, and or I mean, what was that analogy I was giving you earlier? It was like it feels like we're trying to put together this puzzle, and I used to do this puzzle 
it was like a SpongeBob puzzle where there was like Patrick, Sandy, all the characters, <laughs> and, and they're on a beach, and you're putting it together. When you first start off the puzzle, it's kind of taking you a while to find what peaches go with which, but you know, like, okay, there's there's a red that's Patrick and the yellow that's SpongeBob, and so you start putting those ones together first. But then there's the the sky, which is they all look the same. And so those ones take a bit longer, but once you match up those, the, the characters first, and then there's the little things on the side, things just start to kind of compound in the last, like, minute of the puzzle, like 20% of it just gets done all, at, all in that one minute. Um, that's what it feels like we're at right now. Like, we got a bunch of pieces, like, established, and now we just have to fill in to make it all match together. And then we'll have this puzzle to where we can start, like, growing the puzzle, making it rather than a hundred piece puzzle it becomes a thousand piece puzzle and on and on. And how on. stressed were you a week ago compared yeah. to today? Oh my gosh, it's crazy how things can just Because you were almost trying to talk us out of, of a lot of things that were going on. Yeah. And, and now it's just like, let's fucking go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, it is stressful, but I mean, that's, that's what it, you got to be able to take risk. You're not, you're never going to. I'll take the risk to the both of us, buddy. Yeah, Josh, Josh, he will. I mean, he's ready to fucking pull the trigger. I'm a bit more conservative than myself. Today, we were absolutely on top of the world. Uh, I, every, honestly, every single day, I've said at the end of the day, this is the best day of my life. For for such a long period of time, I, I don't even remember the last day that wasn't the best day of my life. 